Hi, uh, I've just got a quick tutorial for you today on how to take two mono tracks and turn them into a single stereo track in Ableton Live. And uh, unfortunately, there's no simple one click way to do this like you can do in Pro Tools, um, where you create a stereo track and you drag two mono tracks onto it. But there is a relatively simple way to do it. So here I've got a Hammond organ left and right so that's obviously a stereo recording of some kind of keyboard and step number one pan obviously the left uh, all the way to the left and the right one all the way to the right and step number two solo these two tracks oftentimes you've got a big mix going and if you want to solo two channels you notice when you click solo on one the other one stops being soloed just hold down the ship uh, sorry the command button on a Mac um, probably that would be something like control on a PC not entirely sure I'm not a PC user um, and then we're just going to select the range by clicking here and file export audio video I'm going to render from the master if you have any effects on your master track if you had some kind of you know EQ or or some mastering compression or something just disengage that that's pretty important you know, file export choose your sample rate and bit depth I'm just using Redbook quality here um, and then we're just going to export that and make sure there's no dither and I'm just going to export make sure that you don't have this convert to mono on that's what I was going to say and let's export and now this is called mono to stereo project um, and I can just choose the name stereo Hammond just gonna pop that wherever I want and now I just go to my browser here go to the desktop and there is that if I create a new audio track take the solo off of these and drag that in so you, do, you don't create a mono or a stereo track for audio in Ableton Live um, whatever you what, whatever file you import onto that track it'll it'll choose mono or stereo depending on which file so you can see there I've got a beautiful stereo version now so I've reduced the amount of tracks and if this were in a mix and I had you know 30 40 tracks that would uh, you know take some of the tracks out and, and make this a bit easier to handle and then I'm just going to name that Hammond then you can just go ahead and delete these other two and that's how I do it there's probably other ways but uh, please let me know if you find a simpler way alright cheers guys thanks see ya